Trippy Red's A Love Letter to You 4 was just made deluxe last night and this album was already full of hits in my opinion but Trip added eight more songs, a couple more features. Like I said, the album was already a bop, it was already full of hits and now with him adding those eight songs it does warrant it being a deluxe album so let's check out these features, let's check out if it changed the vibe of the album any, let's check out if the features actually come through in the clutch. I see we got for our first feature we got Chance the Rapper. Russ, Young Thug, Lil Tecca, Lil Durk, and G Herbo. Trip to me, he's one of those guys that I found like in 2017, 2016. I really, me personally, I just rock with his music. Like, I think he's really talented. I think he's a really talented guy. And I feel like he, he can go far. He drops consistent music. He drops music that his fans actually want. Like, his engagement with his fans is really good. I feel like him and X were really good at doing that rock slash rap style that a lot of rappers are trying to do with these guitar beats. But Trip just, he just does it a little bit differently and I really love that about his style. Like I said before, eight new songs. Uh, first song with Chance the Rapper is called I Love You. You see what I'm saying about the guitar? It's just soulful. It's a real guitar, not, a lot of the rappers are just using like VSTs, like that's a real guitar, you know what I'm saying? Like, you can tell the difference. See, just that bop and then they have the, uh, the kick come in, boom, boom, to just give it some bounce and rhythm, but that guitar is like, it's crazy. And Trip, he, he talks about that Kurt Cobain and Uzi and all those like kind of like emotional guys talk about them being influenced by Kurt. And you can really hear that like in their singing. They try to sing like a little raspy or try to put that little flair on it. And I mean, it hits to me. Like, I like it. Hey. This is Chance, by the way. So Chance, this is kind of more the pocket that I want to see him in. I don't want to see him in the um, the pocket that he was in with this big day. This is getting back to that the four singles that he put out like before the big day that uh, While I Can and all that other stuff and just him like rapping and just his style. Like I like this a lot better than what he's been doing. That's big cap, that's big sombrero. That's hard. See, that's hard. I like that. This is the chance we need. The number one, I love you. I like that. I like that track. This, like I said, this is the pocket we need to see chance in. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I haven't been this happy about the chance song in a minute, bro. Like, I like that. The next one is The Way featuring Russ. And I actually do like Russ. I'm not a Russ hater. My name is Russ, by the way, too. So let's see what Russ got to do. Or right, gotta say. But it's hard. Hey. I like that what he did with that beat. And Russ does his own vocals, all his like own stuff, so like it's hard. Like I can you know what I'm saying? This kind of does resemble like a Russ beat, really. Like, especially since they got his vocals right, I'm pretty sure he did them on his own and kind of engineers the beat around his vocals when his part comes up. So I I I'm I like what he's doing with it. Just we should spend some time on bagging Cause we took so far away Could it imagine We found a way Found a way Found a way We found a way We was lost the pain We found a way Hey, Trip is hard, bro. See what I'm saying? He's in his bag. He's emotional right now. And it's like, a lot of rappers try to do that, but they can do it in different ways. But in this lane with that, like, emo type, the emotional rap, darker type thing, like, Trip does it. And he does it his way. Like, I don't feel like he's copying anybody else. Like, I like it. I like his sound. I really do like Trip. Like, like I'm telling y'all, I do think that he can go really far. Number three is that yellow with uh, Young Thug. This came out a couple weeks ago as like a single. This is already a banger. I already know. I love this song. Yeah. Uh. Hey, 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 hey. Pierre made this beat too. That's hard. Pierre's been going crazy. Damn, son, where'd you find this? 
That's hard. How he rides the beat, bro, that was hard. Right. You can't tell me. Listen to the thug. I'm talking to Carmen, I'm trying to see blood. I pour it in because you take on the sun. I pour up the spider, you know it's fun. Yeah. That yellow by Thug and like that's my favorite song. Well, that was my favorite song. There's a lot of songs on here on the whole album that I really rock with. And even with these new eight songs, that was my favorite before I heard all these. And I probably still is like my favorite because it's like more of a banger, but there's some other songs out here that do go crazy too. Of course, that's a banger to me. I love the, you know I love the, this Tekka track. So number four is How I Was Raised featuring Lil Tekka. Let's see what Tekka got to say. You hear the 808s? 808 give it that. Well, I had to come in the class. And I like the aggression. He'll come on the track and be like completely vulnerable. And then the next track, he'll come on there and be like, yo, it's Big 1400. You know what I'm saying? He always says that. And... I like that, the versatility and the confidence in himself. He'll do whatever he wants on the track. It's his song. He's in pocket. He's in pocket. A lot of these young dudes, y'all want to get on their head. He came in the beat. He came on the beat in pocket. You hear him at the beginning? I like that. I like that. And I was not expecting Tekka to come with that type of energy. You know what I'm saying? He's usually more fun, laid back. But it's like, I feel like he has been on a lot of big songs. I I would assume I don't really know off the top of my head, but Trip is a big feature. You know what I'm saying? And he came with that the right energy, and I like it. Number five is OTF Nightmare featuring Dirk and Herbo. So OTF is one of the family. That's like Dirk's gang, not gang like that, but like gang family label. That's why it's OTF. Back in the day when it was like the the drill scene in Chicago. He wasn't a part of uh, Glory Boards or anything like that, like Lamron or 600, 300, uh, Herbo. He's not a part of No Limit. He made his own thing, OTF, one of the family. So I'm assuming that that's why he named the song OTF Nightmare. Whoa. OTF 1400. Gang. Gang. Yeah, OTF 1400. Gang. Gang. You ain't gang, gang, gang. I mean, I'm not really a fan of the redundant, like, choruses and hooks and all that. So, I mean, so far, it's underwhelming. You know what I'm saying? And that's not really even a drill beat. But Trip did say on his Instagram that this was one of his favorite songs from the project. So, I'm going to just skip to where Dirk starts in Herbo or see if Trip actually, is actually going to say something. Got 34 show and show up. I'm trying to be like me, so not grow up. I got to switch on my grab when I blow it. And I love my killers, they know it. Let that flame get you. Two niggas end up same pitch. Uh, told myself I ain't have no paper till I could change riches. Uh, go ahead, set your pace and finish. Uh, all these chains glisten. Hand them out to my main niggas. Game. Quick to change niggas. Ops now ain't the same niggas. Of course not. Click like bang. bang. You know I ain't learned that no range, niggas. I like this. I think Herb really is the one that gave the track life. It sounded more like a Herbo beat when he got on it. And especially because of that boom, 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 that was like keeping, you know what I'm saying? It was giving it that energy. And when he got on it, he knows how to like get slightly off beat to give it that type of, you know, stoic type of energy that gives it that feeling. If you really just stay on, you know, even kilter with how you rap and your delivery, sometimes it won't come out how you want to. Sometimes you got to go overly fast or like slower, you know what I'm saying? I like how Herb switched it up, so overall the track was just okay, but I like what Herb did on there, that's a good feature, and he's dropping on the 28th, so I'll come back at y'all with that reaction and review, so stay tuned for that. Number six, Even Steven. Ouch! Oh, hi. Wait a minute. Number seven, even Steven, or yeah, number six, even Steven, it really is just a filler track to me. Uh, it's not bad. It's just a filler track that he added on the album. So uh, I'm not really 
particularly like drawn to it or rocking with it like that. So I'll say five and six. They're just okay. One, two, three, and four, I actually really enjoyed. Number seven, amazing. Let's see how that sounds. Oh. Just off top, though, that piano, I like that. They like staggered it. You know it's 808. I like how they did the 808s. It's all about the tone. It really is. Just like with that Renegade. It really was. It's not just that 808 pattern because a lot of songs have had simple 808 patterns. I mean, obviously, I'll see the baby. He's doing that all the time. But it's the tone. The tone of the 808s really gives you that feel. You got to bring them up and then bring them down or give it some type of resolve or don't give them a resolve to make it give them that feel that you want. My producers will know what I'm talking about. Go, go. Make your wrists out here on the road. And also, they slowed this beat down. You don't always have to go with the fast BPM beat just for it to be hard. Like This slaps too, and it's probably like 90, 80, maybe even 70. You know what I mean? Go, go I, do I like that. It's amazing. It's okay. And I like how Trip uses his ad libs as like another melody though. You know what I'm saying? A lot of ad, ad libs they'll just, you know, they just serve that purpose, but Trip will use that ad lib that yeah, yeah, yeah as like a counter melody and it makes the song, you know what I'm saying? It makes the song hot. So that number seven, amazing. I rock with that. I really like the piano in that track. Number eight is Koi. I guess like the Koi fish. Let's see what it's about. Another one off top. Wait, wait, bro, does that not honestly sound like that, that, baby, won't you want to take a ride with me, something, something, you know that song? It low-key sounds like that. Listen. Could be a sample, maybe not. But I love that guitar. See, that's a real guitar. No BSC. what I'm saying like about the versatility and the actual emotion like he'll go from a song like yellow with thug and that nightmare with Dirk and Herbo and that stuff with Tekka and the, the you know what I'm saying and then go to the I love you flow or the way flow with Russ or this Koi flow Like, he's saying, you're not alone. Don't let it all go to your head. And it's like, y'all may think he's just saying that in the songs, but like, when X was alive, him and X were, you know what I'm saying? They were good friends. And um, like, they were both in that emotional, like, you know what I'm saying, light in hip hop. And they, they, their fans, that's what they connected to them to because they brought that emotion out in their tracks. And I love this song. Like, I, I really like this song. Number eight, Koi. That probably is my favorite song. Like, there's a lot of good songs on here, but I, I just like that. Like, I like when he gets into that, that like, emotion and brings that emotion out on his tracks because I, I just really rock with him as an artist. You know what I'm saying? When you know an artist and you really like them, their music connects with you differently. So, like, me hearing that, I really do like that song. Like, I like that song a lot. Really, for real, for real. So, that was number eight. So, number one with Chance, rock with that song. Number two with Russ, that was straight. Number three, that's a banger. Number four, with Tekka, I like that song. The Nightmare with Dirk and Herbo, it was just all right. I like what Herb did. Um, six, even Steven, it was okay. Amazing, I rocked with that piano and all that other stuff. And then that Koi, number eight, I really rocked with. So these eight songs that Trip added to the album, I would say they were warranted. You know what I'm saying? A lot of guys just want to pad stats and do different things to just up their streaming and just get as much money out of an album or the people as they can but these eight songs I feel like were actually warranted to add to the album. The songs that he had on the album are all perfect bro. They all fit together. So I see 
why he would wait to make it deluxe and add it and you know he could have did a lot of different things with these songs but i like what he did with releasing them they changed the album cover up a little bit not a little bit a lot so this is the purple one with like the hood on the first one is um let me see yeah it's oh it's the same thing it's just a different color yeah it's just a different color but it's still hard though so this a love letter to you for deluxe i rock with it trip great job bro like I don't know, that's my guy, so I, I gotta brag on my guy. Like, I really like this album. I really like what you did with making it deluxe. I love all these songs, bro, and I'm gonna be bumping this for the rest of the weekend now, so, yeah. That's all I really gotta say about this Trip album. If you have any other albums that are gonna come out or have come out that you want me to do some reviews over or, like, rundowns of, just let me know. I'll be doing more videos like this in the future, more reviews, more breakdowns of their music as well as their actions and who the artist actually is you know what i'm saying thank you for watching the video guys if you liked it leave a like comment subscribe do all those you know what i'm saying youtube things and i'll get out y'all later i'm out